Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Ragnarok here with part two of my Shogun 2 Chosokabi campaign on legendary difficulty. Alright, so previously uh, we're just doing some building, doing some recruiting, and we managed to take EU, which uh, we damaged the settlement a little bit, uh, but I think that saved us a few casualties. We did take a bit of damage, we just didn't have enough firepower. To be able to do the amount of uh, damage that I would have liked. So we, we did have to actually scale the walls. Or at least uh, send our uh, Ashigaru in there to, uh, to fight. So um, actually, oh, yeah. I was hoping we could get them into the settlement. Just to get a little bit more replenishment, but it's not the case. Anyway, yeah, uh, let's get back to work. So what do we got? Got a surgeon plus five to the replenishment rate of all units under this army. That's pretty sweet. Um, and ooh, plus one to honor. Honor is really important in this. Um, look at how it works now exactly. But I think the replenishment rate will be good. Only defense for the general's bodyguard. 1% campaign movement range for all units under this general. Yeah, so we'll sink the points into that. I think that'll be pretty valuable. <laughs> Prefer to keep our uh, generals out of fighting if it's at all possible. Um, Eleven turns until that unit's fully replenished. Maybe better just to merge them. And um, how do I merge the units? Control M. All right, Control M. Merges. All right. Merge them and recruit some new ones, which we can't actually afford at the moment. Right, we've got one more archer there. What are we building right now? Harbor and lumber yards. How much does this cost to repair? Here cost seven. Okay, so that's nothing. All right, we're we're gonna have to do some building next turn. Can't recruit any more troops. Maybe I shouldn't have merged them. Anyway, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'll leave you sitting here for now. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a small garrison there. And then, um, what else do I want to do? Nothing else really we can do at the moment, so I guess we'll just uh, hit the end turn. Ooh. I wanted to check the taxes. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, well. Mounting on rest in EU. Oh, whoops. Trade and Finance. All right, let's bump this down. Take care of the uh, taxes for now. I think we need to stay here for a couple turns to replenish. And uh, do some more recruitment. Uh, we definitely do need some building here. I think the Saki Den probably the way to go. Get the public order under control. I wouldn't mind having the stables. I wouldn't mind having some horse cavalry or some light cavalry. Just give us a little bit more flexibility out in the fields. It looks like this this may be uh, primarily a siege campaign. And we'll recruit another bow down here and then up here. Recruit a couple of those, and then that's all of our all of our cash for now. So, are you happy this is too? Okay, yeah, most of that is the military presence. Yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll, we're going to take it slow. Slow and cautious. Not super experienced with Shogun 2, so I, I don't see any point in really rushing through it. Mastery of the Arts. Getting this unlocked is going to be super important. And I think after we do that, we're going to move towards Way of the Bow. And then maybe start looking towards some of uh, 
some of the way of the chi. Good, good, good. Right. That replenishment two, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the samurai for flavor. Ah, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna disband it. Because we can get two Ashigaru for the same price. And, um... What the hell else was I going to say? Uh, and the Ashigaru would just replenish a lot more quickly right now. So, I think that's, that's a little bit more important. I want you guys to come up and link with the rest of the army. And then leave a small garrison here. The order is fine. I'd like to get this to a full stack if we could. But we'll do one more turn of replenishment inside the settlement here, and then we'll we'll start moving this way. Six. I think six should be enough for a front line. Find the army. And just leave you behind. Oh shit. Minus three. Mm. Tempt it from tax, and it's fine. I exempt it from tax for one turn. Actually, I'm not. Maybe should have left some troops behind. I don't know if this is going to be strong enough to take this on. 2, 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Plus they're going to have whatever's in the garrison. Which I... I'm not sure exactly how the garrisons work in this. Could say... Okay, defending samurais. Does this tell us? Uh, Alright. Or we could come up here and try and take this settlement. Alright, we're gonna bump the taxes for one turn. And then we'll bump it back down. Uh, we might have to... Oh, they've got more troops there as well. Hunting on rest. Move to there for now. I think we should wait for... And we'll exempt it for one turn. That should... Okay, yeah, that sorts it out. What I'm thinking is... Uh, 
Well, I'd like to get more troops. That's one thing. Recruit one per turn here. Um, hmm. I move you over to this one just because we need a little bit more troops in there to keep the public order under control. What I'm thinking is that um, we should at least wait until Heaven and Earth is completed before we assault this as with that extra ammunition should be able to take it on wouldn't mind picking up a couple more archers in the meantime but yeah i don't know that we're going to be able to afford that should have saved up for this getting that upgraded is kind of important anyway that's uh, not the end of the world oh, no. Finances are being stretched a little bit. But yeah, they've got a pretty big force there. Got a navy that they had moving. Curious what's up there as well. You in there? Alright, good. Tax the province, no problem. Ooh, we can hire a ninja. Oh, that is fucking beautiful. The Masaki Den. Let's get one of these guys. And then we can uh, we can actually do a little bit of scouting and whatnot. See what's over there. You just station there for now. How many more turns? Four turns. Yeah, the other thing is the longer I sit here and wait, um, the more difficult it may be to take these settlements because um, they're going to have stronger forces. But. I want to see what's going on in this province, first of all. Oh my goodness. I don't see any army. Um, and we could attack it right now. They tell us their their power is moderate, our power is weak. Prosperity, destitute, indifferent, vicious, dependable. They they've got to have an army here somewhere. Ah man, I wish we had a little bit more movement. I mean, it's a really good opportunity to attack it right now. But I'm gonna wait one more turn and just see what else is uh, potentially there. I just want to get an idea where their army is. Because they, they could potentially be in ambush. Hiding in these trees. I think. I Fuck, I don't know how ambush works in this. You don't have the actual stances like the, the new Total Wars. Definitely looks like we can, we can take Sanuki. Alright. Ah, there's their army. Hmm. Darby Samurai.
All right, the bows are headed for the army. I'm just going to leave garrisons of uh, two of these Ashigaru in the settlements for now. These bows to the army. Question is, should we wait for a little bit more reinforcements to make the attack here? Obviously, their infantry is better than ours. But in the... Uh, in the spear wall, these guys will actually perform better than the Yari Samurai. As long as we can get them in the spear wall. I think I'm gonna wait for reinforcements. Now, like, we could attack the settlement, but this army will be supporting, so uh, that, that'll be a messy battle. Well, we'll just we'll, we'll play it cautiously here rather than um, rush into it. We'll wait for a few more archers and then we'll move in to attack them. for these guys. Yeah, this force could be... Now they have a full stack up there. That could be a pain in the ass to deal with. They've got some light cavalry. Where did the army go? Hmm. Very suspicious the way their army keeps disappearing. But public order is good right now. I think we might be able to bump the taxes. Mm. I'm just going to keep it there um, just so that we don't have to worry about the taxes too much. I know we're not making a whole lot of coin. I think uh, I think we'll be able to survive. For the time being. Alright, yeah, they... You can just stand outside. I don't know. Uh, we can't, uh, we can't move into their province until we actually declare war on them. Oh, we're not at war with these guys either. Alright, I'm going to wait one more turn just so that we have full movement here of the army. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We're still not a full stack, but um, I think we'll be able to take this on. 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12, 14, yeah. I think we'll be alright. Yeah, their army is standing in the standing in the forest here, which means I believe we'd be ambushed if we were to actually attack them. Okay, we've got this. Just automatically goes to the next one. That's kind of weird. Go for our way of the bow. Yeah, I don't want to attack this with this army being hidden like that. We know they're there. And I don't know that we're quite ready to take these guys on. Oh, I think we just 
Earn one more enter. Wait for our ninja to gain sight on that army. Because, for sake. Okay, there they are. Alright, this is the easier target between these two, so I think we're going to attack these guys, and I think I want to fight them out in the field. We will declare war. You stand here. We want both of them to gain experience here. Odds are pretty even. Anyway, I'm fairly confident we can win this. 50-50. We've got the uh, the archer advantage, which is the most important thing, I think. And our Yari spear wall should be able to uh, to hold them back. So, so long as we don't do anything reckless, we should be able to win. But try not to take too much damage. Because um, we do want to continue on the move and continue to uh, try and consolidate this uh, this island here. I don't need to see the general speech. Reinforcements coming in right behind us, so that's good. Keep you guys out front for now. Guys in behind. I guess we can stretch out a little bit more. And they are gonna come at us. Oh, I guess they they probably feel that they have the advantage here. So Let's uh, let's let them try and take advantage of that. Let's try and take advantage of that. Use our Yari wall and our archers to uh, to our advantage. Um, oh, we could come back up here on this hill as well. Guys, get into position over here. Guys, get in behind. High ground will help out a little bit. As I'll move faster if you're not in Yari Wall. Go, 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 go. Get into position before they get over here. And you guys head on top there. It'll give us a little bit more of an advantage. They're coming at us, yeah. No, they've slowed down though. Looking good. Yeah, the one thing we've got to be careful about here is um, like that getting flanked. Have they stopped? For fuck's sake. As soon as we went for that hill, they stopped coming at us. Ah, oh, shit. 
I might have to fight them in the out here. Guess I should have maybe stayed put. Now we can see the settlement in the background there. right there all right what I'm thinking is let's take you two out to the edge here and see if we can get some shots in on these samurai uh, on the far edge if they're gonna sit in this uh, formation try and avoid their bows for now and um, see if we can goad them into attacking us because we don't want to attack this head-on um, it's better if they come at us. But I think um, bringing these guys over here. Are they moving back? No. I'm over here. The rest of you just stretch out like so for now. Guys, be over here in position just in case they need support. Two separated. The rest of the army should be just about in range. Just be careful to stay out of range of their their bow units. We can get a couple of early kills here. Be happy with that. And we should have quite a bit of ammunition now as well. I'm just worried about their two general units if they come over here, but... <laughs> or if they just want to sit here and let us, uh, let us shoot at them. Let's sit here and be passive. I'm okay with that too. Is their uh, their units, their samurai, are worth more than our Ashigaru as far as balance of power is concerned? But any free kills, I'll definitely take those. If they're willing to give them. Yeah, that's it. Just stand there casually. <laughs> Not a care in the world. They're getting shot at by archers. No problem. Gotta love that uh, Total War AI sometimes. Um, yeah, I don't know. What are we doing ammunition wise? Our ammunition is up to 30 shots, so that's pretty good. And we've got. 
lots of archers here, so we should have plenty of ammunition to really wear them down before we get into end-to-hand uh, -hand fighting. And in a skirmish, we should be able to win two. Only got four archer units. But for now, uh, we'll try and clip the wings here. Start with this side. I don't want to attack from both sides at the same time, just because um, if, they're, if their generals become active and go for these archers, we could lose these archer units. So we need to keep our generals close by to protect them. And I mean, changing the formation too will, will make them change their formation a little bit. So for now, we'll just see if we can take out these two units. And then maybe try try the same thing on the opposite side. And then if they allow us to do that, then we'll uh, we'll bring the archers forward, have a skirmish with their archers, and uh, see if they make the attack after that. These are all basically free kills here. charge at us, are they? Broken. Okay, good, good. You go finish them off, and you guys just get lined up here and start taking out the next unit. Oh man, <laughs> they are leaving in a hurry. Uh, they finally woken up to the fact that we were uh, we were killing them there. Uh, changing their formation a bit here. Are they coming at us? Looks like they might be coming at us. Damn it, I don't think we caught them. Alright, got a bow unit there. Back up for a second. Hmm. Let them finish their uh, rearranging there. Move you guys up a bit. back into basically the same formation they were before. Oh, just shuffled it around a bit. What do we got here? More Yari Samurai. Let's get rid of another unit. Let's be ready in case. Forward a little bit more. Yeah, it's usually a lot easier to deal with a more passive enemy than it is a uh, more aggressive enemy. Aggressive en enemy can be a little bit more unpredictable. 
and can force you into situations that you don't want to be in. Whereas these guys being nice and passive here, allowing us to uh, whittle them down without taking any damage ourselves so far. We'll see if they, they continue with this shenanigans. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I totally don't mind them doing this. They want to make this easy for us. By all means. They don't seem bothered by this in one bit. Yeah, the AI has been improved a fair bit in, in recent Total Wars, but it still has a long way to go, I think. Far so good. Yeah, I don't want to speed this up just in case they, they do something and I don't have time to react to it. No, this is <laughs> not the most exciting thing in the world. Plus two, I, I find the battles more enjoyable if you play it on the regular the regular speed the whole time. It gives you a more authentic feel rather than uh Fast forwarding through the whole battle. And that's a, one thing, one of the knocks, I, like for me personally, um, with the, the newer Total Wars, is the speed of the battles. Um, it just seems a little. Battles do seem a little bit too fast. Like, I, I like like them to feel a little bit more realistic and a little bit more a little bit slower paced last a little bit not necessarily slower paced but just um, the battles should go on for a little bit more you know like the maps should be bigger you know the maneuvers with the troops and stuff like that should be a little bit more nuanced and require a little bit more time to make you know, big maneuvers and things like that. But anyway, starting to ramble a little bit. Is going to change formation again? Battered. Uh, hold your fire. Don't worry about them. All right, let's move forward a little bit. I feel like once this troop gets off the field. They're going to do the same thing that they did last time and reorganize the uh, reshuffle their line. That's what I'm thinking, but you never know. We're starting to reorganize the line now. Okay. Pull back. I don't want to get in a skirmish with these guys just yet. Pull back. Looks like they're gonna separate. Is that right? You guys are in spear wall, yeah. Oh no, no. I thought they were gonna make the attack, but it doesn't look like it. They're just gonna reorganize again. It looked like they wanted to to make the assault. But I I think they're just going to go back into that exact same formation that they were in previously. All 
Alright, I would say these two have done their worth. They've taken out two uh, Yari Samurai. So if they could take out a third, that means they've done more than their worth. Yep, they've just gone back into the same formation. I wonder if they'll, they'll let us pick off their generals. Let's see how, it says these guys are confident, let's see how confident they are after uh, letting us shoot them for a little while here. But yeah, okay, one volley of uh, 320 archers only did, uh, only got eight casualties. <laughs> so. Okay, these blokes are not the most accurate in the world, but... Still, I guess it's a volume... volume thing. Uh, later on, we can get really solid uh, archers. I think um, they have a little bit more range, and, and they're pretty well armored. I think they're, they're even better than the... Uh, the uh, the monk monk archers. I don't know. I mean, arguably, but yeah, our uh, our upgraded archers are really good for this clan. Be nice to have archers with longer range. If we can outrange the enemy, it's gonna make it even easier to do the sieges, even easier to do these battles. Yeah, slow and steady. Definitely the way to go. Anytime you can be a use a um, use a little bit of patience to keep from taking casualties is is uh, definitely something you want want to use. There's no sense in charging rec recklessly if we if we don't have to. And the less casualties we take, uh, the more quickly we can get on the move to, uh, to, to the next uh, next clan and the next settlement. So. Important in uh, in these games to get some momentum going and, and continue that momentum. And uh, nothing usurps your momentum uh, more than than taking heavy losses and taking forever to get those armies replenished or, or built back up. So well, we're almost out of ammunition here. These two. What are we doing for time in this battle? One of our units has used all its ammunition, uh -oh. my lord. It's not gonna break. Alright, back up, back up. Get. Charge here should break them, I would think. Maybe not. Yeah, they're, they're starting to break. Uh, we lost a few archers there, but they basically used up all of their ammunition. This unit should waver. We're losing, uh, we're going for this. Oh, we lost a few guys there. Come on, are you fucking kidding me? Break already. There we go. They have shattered. You guys are sticking around there. And it looks like they finally are actually on the, uh, on the attack. Uh, you guys just move back that way. I don't think you'll be needed again. Just be careful with our generals. Taking some casualties there. And I think um, I think I might move forward and and do the attack. This is getting a little bit a little bit boring. Head back that way. Oh, they're uh, they're obliging us. That's nice. I 
guys move forward a little bit. Give the archers a little bit more room to fire here. Let's just shoot at them. Gonna charge over here with our uh in general. We are taking some losses on our archers. Yeah, it just seems that the AI has a has an advantage in these fucking skirmishes. Maybe not. I mean we've got more archers than them. They seem to be doing more damage to our archers. back up. But another archer unit moving forward. Finish them off. Ah oh, shit, these guys don't have ammunition. Are you gonna try and flank us? Where where are you two? Okay. Alright, let's hope the uh, the Yari line folds here. Let's move back. Let's move up that way. And fuck me, I'm not holding. I'm gonna put you guys in there. Turn around and attack him. Alright, this turned into a bit of a mess. Keep moving. Get over here. Need to get in behind and get to those archers. God damn. Around these guys. Break this unit. Shatter them. over here and get to those archers. Alright, we're holding, sort of. All right, got a little bit messy there, <laughs> um, but the Yari line is held, and definitely want to run these guys down because uh, they're standing outside the uh, side the settlement. And this we can fast forward a little bit. Yeah, we, we took some more damage there. Try and build up our forces a bit before um, fuck, these guys are gonna get away. Damn, I should just finish them off. Yep. Thought they could have got them too. All right, good enough. Ooh, close victory.
still, I mean, two to one kill ratio. I guess that's you know could be worse. Only 42% chance. I don't think it's worth the risk. Fascinate, sabotage army, sabotage city gates. But we kind of want to get this guy leveled up. Let's see what happens here. Sabotage failed. That's okay. Still gain a little bit of experience though. But you know what? Can we... Can he actually go inside the army? I wonder. Oh shit. He's got enough movement to get there. Alright, we should uh, should be able to auto-resolve this. Ooh, uh, we could make them into a vassal. Uh, it increases our honor, I believe, but I... Ooh, looting it is really tempting because that money would help out quite a bit. Probably get a rebellion though if we do loot it. I think we'll just peacefully occupy. Repair that. What do we got here? Uh, I think this building, we're actually going to demolish it. I don't think we need that. So we'll just save save this money for now. I think we'll do a little bit of building here. Yeah, I'm going to save this money for now. Um, can't quite get you in there. The province. Oh, he's upgraded. So that's good. What do we got? Plus one morale for all units under his command. Plus 5% the upkeep cost of... What? Plus 5% upkeep cost? Fuck that. Why would I want more upkeep cost? I mean, the extra morale would be nice. Uh, give him the battlefield messenger. And we'll go for campaign movement. Alright, good. So, uh, we need to replenish before we take uh, these guys on. And unfortunately... I can't quite reach them. So, that's okay. Yeah, we'll... Um, let these guys try and make the assault. He'll be def uh, supporting, so we should be okay there. Oh, they freaking raided that place. Um, do we need to fight this? I don't think so. Let the auto resolve do our dirty work. And we didn't actually lose anyone. That worked out pretty well. Alright, good. So that clan bites the dust. issued. Capture the following province. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't think we're going over there anytime soon. Get you guys into the settlement and we just need to get replenishment here for a bit. And we got to start do a little bit of construction. Go Saki Den. Definitely want to get that upgraded. Oh, this, uh, this quarry um, reduces the cost of buildings in this province. Yeah, I want to get this to the next level, so I'm going to save this money for next turn. Just uh, leave it for now. How um, does the public order look? Okay, with the army sitting in there, we're okay. How is public order here? And IU is 4. Maybe... Oops. 
Uh, maybe bump the taxes one. Mm, no, I'll just leave it there. All right, looks good. We're not making a ton of cash, but uh, we should be able to recruit a few more troops with this. But I, I just want to do a little bit of building for a few turns here. So I'll spend the next five minutes here just um, going through some um, going through some end turns and building up our uh, our infrastructure a little bit. So I want to upgrade that. I don't think we really need this here right now. I think it would be better to have the Saki Den, actually. So I'm actually going to demolish that. Because, I mean, right now, like, this early on in the game, we just need the the, the basic units are, are, are fine. And you, sir, can come over here. And uh, just see if you can gain some experience and keep an eye on these guys. Oh, so there are five settlements in this province. Yeah, we just need to replenish for now, uh, which is going pretty quickly. Uh, we'll need to get the army a little bit uh, built up, but in the meantime, just continue uh, building these provinces a little bit. I think what we will do is we'll, we'll rotate the taxes between high taxes and low taxes. Are we taxing all of these provinces? I want to double check that nobody's exempt. Okay, everybody's good. And I would just bump it back down. All right. I want to get these leveled up. Um, that's, okay. that's okay. Next turn we'll build the Saki Den there. You sir, over here. Right. Okay. We could come down here, attack this army, and then take uh, this settlement. And then see if that draws uh, their full stack out. Well, we just we want to be careful here because uh, they presently they've got larger force than us. So but I mean, um, actually, and I believe with them. Holding the bridge there, I think he's in range of his reinforcements. Um, go with the additional happiness. I'll throw it a bit. Put the Saki Den. Yeah, let's just see if we can. Uh, we can get our income built up a little bit with three. We've got three settlements to there too. So those three settlements should be able to. Um, oh, he can actually go into the into the army. Or wait, are we putting him in the settlement of the army? Anyway, either way, you'll gain experience uh, by by sitting in there. And then taxes. Let's blast the tax this turn. Yeah. Priority right now. Get our economy rolling a little bit. And then we can recruit some more troops. No particular hurry. Since our uh, our main goal of the campaign is just consolidating this little island here, so I'm doing unrest, so turn the taxes back down. Uh actually we can keep them at that level for now. Uh, just with that, um, the recent event. Alright, so what do we want to build here now? Do we want some cavalry? Some cavalry might be invaluable in... Uh... In a field battle with that army. So having a couple of uh, light cavalry 
although they're not super strong, I think would um, would go a long way in helping us. Uh, we've got to do the research to get this. Oh, uh, we'd really use these markets. Hmm. Technology, what are we... How many more turns? Three more turns, okay. Alright, that, that's, that's okay. Alright, we'll build a stables for now. Uh, once we take this, this province... I think, um, I think they have a resource here. Can we see? I can't see anything. I think that, I think there's a resource here. Oh, I'm not sure how you tell. Okay, wait, 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 wait. See the resource there. Rose. Horse breeders. Yeah, horse breeders down here. This is the, the area where we'll want to, um, to recruit our cavalry, but um, this will just be a temporary temporary building. And then um, yeah, we can recruit cavalry there. That is if we were planning for like a, uh, a longer campaign. Just want a few cavalry, like two, two or three. Actually, maybe not be a, a bad idea to get more than that because they've got some cavalry in their army I believe all right construction I think uh, I think this is a good place to stop now uh, we've just gone over the hour mark uh, we will continue building a little bit next time and then make our move to uh, to uh, assault these guys so Maybe one or two more episodes, and then that's probably going to be it. Unless, and of course, you guys want me to head towards Kyoto after we consolidate this area, which um, uh, wouldn't be easy, but I don't, I don't think it would be out of the realm of possibility. Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Part number three is next. Have a great day. Ragnarok signing out.